A guru's grace is not designed to fulfill your plans. Grace is about fulfilling life's plan for you. I won't be wasting my life with you if I could not sustain the support and make it happen. You do not know the hand of the divine upon you. A guru's grace is not designed to fulfill your plans. Guru's grace is designed to fulfill the life's plan. You as a piece of life to fulfill its plan, to make life arrive at its fulfillment, not to fulfill your immediate plan, you want to go on a vacation, go Sadhguru, why are you not helping me? This is not about that <laughs> So don't every other day keep on questioning, is it there with me, is it not there with me? I won't be wasting my life with you if I could not sustain the support and make it happen. So almost anything which is there with you all the time, you tend to not know it. That's the only reason why you do not know the hand of the divine upon you. Because it's always on, if it was off and on, if you do not even know that your breath is on. If it goes off for a minute, for sure you know. <laughs> so because it's not at all off, that's the reason why you do not know. But what is the problem if something is on all the time? What is the problem not knowing? Not knowing that you're alive, what is the problem? You'll just miss life, that's all. The joy of being in grace will be lost. Still life will be happening. But the joy of being in grace is completely lost upon you. So it is not something that's on and off. It is not something that every weekend you question whether it is on or off. It's just on. You just have to, you know, become conscious of it so that you know the joy of being in grace. Grace is not about fulfilling your plan. Grace is about fulfilling life's plan for you. This is not about fulfilling your petty plan because every day your plans keep changing. At different stages in your life, many, many times you thought this is it and next moment you change your decision. I have said this in many ways, but people, I'm sure most of you have chosen to ignore it. I have said, once you sit with me even for a moment, then there is no such thing as privacy in your life. So the moment you s sat with me, particularly initiated by me, after that there is no such thing as whether it is on or not, it is on all the time. It is just that you are expecting grace just to fulfill your plans. Most, most people are only expecting grace to fulfill their plans because this is a old habit. All right then, hope you understood that what actually grace is. To understand more, it goes this way. Energy functions in various manifestations in existence. It functions as sunlight, breeze, gravity and it also functions as grace. The earth is trying to hug you, the breeze is trying to cool you, the sun is trying to warm you up and the grace is trying to grow you. In other words, the grace is trying to pluck out of all the limitations in which you are stuck right now. Now, the one thing that shows that grace is working in your life, it is acting on you. The one thing that shows this is the hardships in your life. Yes, let's understand it through a small story of Krishna and Balram. Once Balram asked a question to Krishna when they had to leave Mathura and were going through all the hardships, walking through the forest without proper food or rest, he asked, that why are all these kinds of things happening to us and that too when you are around. Krishna answers that don't you ever dare to complain when life is happening to you in a great measure. It is because you look at certain things or certain situations as good and others as bad, certain situations as desirable and others as undesirable and that you ask that why these things are happening to you rather than just seeing it as life. Now why did Krishna said this? Because he said that the moment you step into a spiritual stream, 
life is happening to you in great measure as if everything is fast forward if you do not get identified with one thing as good and the other thing as bad you will see that life will be happening to you in a great intensity and that's all there is no such thing as good or bad life is just happening some people enjoy it and some people suffer it that means that entering the spiritual process means being willing to experience life in a great measure if you have invited grace into your life and it is doing its work if it is pulling you up but if you drop your anchor then you will create unnecessary struggle if because of any spiritual process life is happening it should be fine with every one of us and if struggle is happening it is simply because we have invited grace to pull us up but if we drop our anchor that way then naturally we are inviting more struggle more than grace this simply means that grace means that you are no longer looking for an outside source of light that means you have become the source of light you may not be experiencing this all the time but still for a moment if you see that you are filled with light that means grace has touched you so if you maintain equanimity you will see that whatever happens in your life will bring you a step forward if you don't see this and if you get influenced by the outside situation then because of the pace at which the life is happening to you you may think that something is going wrong with your life which it is not so if you want to know and more about how to invite guru's grace or divine's grace on your home on your family or if you want to get sure and really experience grace you can watch this video link of which i have given in the description and i highly recommend you to watch this video after completely watching this video and at last under the influence of grace you will not walk around unconcerned if you walk through life unconcerned then you are heading through disaster every step you take in your life you step on something and cause suffering every step you take in your life you will step on something and will cause suffering and if you believe that you can benefit by causing suffering to someone else it will be only a temporary benefit you will have to pay for it in ways that you will not even understand or you cannot even bear off no one can escape this karma is this karma is not the concept of crime and punishment that if you commit some crime someone is going to punish you karma is a consequence of your own action if you throw a stone up gravity is not trying to hit you it is rather your stone only which is coming back and knocking you down on your own head that is karma so at last hope you understood the concept of this video and you found it meaningful and if yes do not forget to give it a like share and subscribe and also i highly recommend you to watch this video because it will have a great impact on you i can assure you that and at last up to next stay safe healthy happy and namaskaram